It's without a doubt the current political and social climate is depressing. It seems like every day there is another terrible story happening in the world. It's important not to let the news consume our lives. To maintain my mental health and well-being, I found gardening as a way to keep myself occupied. This year, I transitioned my summer garden into my winter garden. And in my home, gardening has become a family activity. So to convert my summer garden into a winter garden, we cut away the old vegetation from the summer and I've decided I'm building a cold frame over one of my raised bed gardens. But first I'll need to prep the garden. I start with some gloves, some noise cancellation headphones, some goggles, and my Troy built two cycle gas cultivator. This cultivator is great for established gardens for the weeding process because it re greatly reduces the amount of time that it takes me to remove the weeds from the garden. And I continue to clean up the garden area by removing the fallen leaves. And I went over the garden bed one more time with the cultivator just to make sure that I got most of the weeds and root balls from the previous season. Next it was on to building the cold frame over my raised bed garden. So I did this, well, I did this mainly with pocket screws. I wanted to create a slope that would be steep enough that if it snows, the snow would slide off of the frame. At least that's what I thought in my, my mind when I was designing this. So I stacked three two by sixes atop each other to create a back of about 16 and a half inches. Then taking a couple of one by three boards cut down to about 20 inches, I screwed it into uh, the back to provide a little stability to the three boards that I attached to the raised bed garden. So it was starting to get really, really cold outside. So I found myself doing a little bit every day. And uh, that's the best I could do because it was just so cold. <laughs> so for the side boards, I connected them the exact same way. I stacked the two by sixes, uh, I joined them with pocket screws and I cut them with a circular saw and a blade capable of cutting both wood and metal. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, this is probably the point where I started to question how good this was for my mental health because it was literally freezing to the point where I could no longer feel my fingers. But. I pushed through and I am so glad I did because um, I look back at all of this and, and it really did help take my mind off of everything that was going on. Mental health and taking care of your mental health is so important. So I made the cover for the cold frame with one by three boards and plastic sheeting. So right now acrylic is crazy expensive and I just wasn't prepared to spend $40 a sheet for, for acrylic. So plastic sheeting found in the painter section was all I needed. And then I wrapped the edge of the cold frame with some weather stripping. And I never knew until I started this project that if you go to your local nursery, you might be able to find some winter vegetables that you can use in your winter garden. So you don't have to actually germinate everything. So throughout this process, I worked with licensed therapist Jason Phillips and learned a lot about navigating through the winter blues. And I found that I needed to give myself grace because not everything had to be perfect. It was more about the activity of actually getting outside and taking advantage of even the little sunlight that we have during these winter months. And while there have been some very, very frustrating moments, <laughs> during this whole process. This has all been great for allowing me to take the focus off of things I can't control and focus on just self-care. And so far so good. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember 
it's important to take care of yourself and your mental health. Till next time.